So I always like to document uh, how I do things when I actually do them well. And uh, here is a box that I built out of just some stuff that's you know common and easily available um, that should withstand just about anything. Um, this is an old U-Haul box. Had a little bit of damage to it, but I bolstered it and made it stronger. So there was a bit of a, a rip here. Uh, the guy that sent me a plane in this box didn't pack it at all. He just put the plane in there. Anyway, bolstered it with this. It's nice and strong now. And, uh, and we had a couple end caps, and I found that this works really well. Um, pizza box. You know, it's already a box. It's really sturdy. Um, sturdy kind of laterally like this. And so it provides some structure to the end of the box. Keeps it from twisting too much. Keeps it from getting squished. So then I'm going to hot glue in there in a minute. And then we got this kind of, kind of uh, central box here. This is, a, this is again, just a, a priority mailbox that somebody shipped some stuff to me in. And I kept it around in the garage until, uh, until I had a use for it. And the use is coming today. I cut a few holes in it. I'm trying to illustrate that. So you can see this is a Park Zone Habu. And the nose is poking through here. Part of the wing is poking through here. And, uh, and then, of course, on the other side, we've got some, some similar holes. I'm a little larger over here, and um, so the those are those pieces are 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 kind of packed in through there. I'm going to tape them on so that they don't come loose, but they should just kind of statically hold themselves. And then this box, I'm going to uh, hot glue here and here, hot glue the sides. That way it stays, and again it gives another kind of uh, kind of anti-squish support, same as the pizza box there at the end. Then I'm going to close it all up, hot glue it, tape it. And, uh, oh, before I close it, of course, I'm going to fill it up. So I got a lot of newspaper. And newspaper works really well for a filler. If you don't have those big uh, plastic airbags or, or something like that, this stuff's free. You bundle it up and uh, put it in there. It provides a, a good holding thing. And then one other thing that I like to do is uh, something like this. So I have this, this box here. I'm not going to use it for shipping anymore because it got kind of beat up on the way to me. It's a little squished, but it's great for this. Hot glue it to the bottom here. It provides a support for the back end of the fuselage. And then I'm just going to put some tape over the top of it. And that fuselage isn't going anywhere. It's basically suspended in the middle of the box. Nothing can touch it unless somebody really clobbers this thing. And, um, and it'll be nice and sturdy. And I'm going to do something similar with the wing there um, before I box it up. But, uh, but yeah, that's it. That's kind of my boxing 101 takes a little while to do it took me about an hour but um but it's kind of fun and uh hopefully if somebody else views this it's helpful for them all righty there you go